One more episode left, guys, for the 100th episode of Setup Wars, Potato Edition. It's going to be a very special video. Uh, I'm very excited. I can't believe it's almost been 100 episodes since I started this. And it's actually one of the reasons why the channel blew up is because of Setup Wars and because you guys enjoy watching it. So thank you for that. It's been a hell of a ride. It's just getting started. I'm just warming up. Uh, I'm not going to waste any time. Let the Setup Wars begin. Actually, welcome to Setup Wars episode 99. Let the setup wars begin. Starting off the show, we got Francesco all the way from Italy with a very clean triple monitor setup featuring three 24 inch LG monitors that are hooked up to the wall with not a single wire in sight. Damn, that looks good. He's also rocking the Logitech Orion Spark G910 keyboard and the G700S mouse, both of which are resting on the extended mouse pad from Glorious. I also like the position of the Samsung microphone right above the drilled hole for the keyboard and mouse. This way he doesn't have to drill an extra hole and it kind of covers up the cables a bit. Against the wall he has a pair of Edifier M3200 speakers with the subwoofer on the top shelf against the corner and then below that we got the Corsair Void RGB wireless headset. But what I like the most about the setup is the way the PC is spaced out on the other side without any cables visible. And before I check out the cable management, let's admire this PC a bit. So this is a custom water-cooled PC, however there is only a single loop going through the 4790K while the GTX 1080 remains air-cooled. There's also a lot of custom work, like the custom painted PSU cover, backplate, and even some motherboard accents. There's even some Star Wars props in there, but what impressed me was the cable management. Not inside the case, but outside. Usually when you look at a PC from an angle, you can see the wires sticking out from behind. But what Francisco did was very clever. It looks like he cut out some slits near the back of the I.O. and ran the cables through the case for a very clean look. I'm impressed. And speaking of cable management, it's done very well underneath the desk. The main thing holding up the cables are those two very long raceways. And of course, we do have some 3M tape and zip ties holding up the accessories for easy access. The only small thing that kind of bothered me was the symmetry of the top shelves when looking at the monitors directly. But other than that, this is a very beautiful and nearly flawless setup. Thank you, Francesco, for entering. Speaking of nearly flawless, let's keep the train going with Harry's quad display setup featuring three 24-inch BenQ monitors and a 40-inch Toshiba TV on top. Once again, a very clean job with cable management. Looks like Harry routed the cables behind the wall for all of his displays. Actually, it doesn't look like it. He added a power strip and hooked up everything to it instead. Interesting. He also put in the notes, go easy on me, I'm only 15. <laughs> Oh, Harry, I don't give a f how old you are. Everybody gets the same treatment. All seriousness though, it doesn't look like you have anything to worry about. I mean, if you're only 15 and are able to do this, then I commend you, good sir. And your parents, of course, for paying for most of the stuff. I mean, you got a lot of expensive gear here. There's no way you've managed to pay for all this yourself. We got the Razer Black Riddle Chroma keyboard, Mamba Tournament mouse, Firefly mouse pad, and not one but two Xbox consoles. The original 360 and the Xbox One side by side. And I haven't even gotten to this PC, which by the way looks to be water-cooled. It has a 6700K and a GTX 750 Ti, which he said is going to upgrade it to a GTX 1070 soon. I love that he has a crazy 4 display setup and then you look down below and see a dinky little Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> Is that your only audio source? Apparently not, there's a pair of Astro A40s hiding in a drawer. He probably thought I was going to talk smack if he left it on the desk, so he just hid it away. <laughs> There's also another setup which he is calling the recording desk and it's basically a Blue Yeti microphone that's hooked up to his Acer laptop. You know what though, I will give you major props on the cable management. This is a work of art. It does look like you care about your setup and the amount of time spent perfecting it really shows. Excellent setup, thank you Harry for entering. Very impressive. Levi's next up and holy cow the presentation on this one and that backdrop though, damn. So Levi is rocking three 27-inch Acer monitors, a single 24-inch from LG near the top, which is all hooked up against a backdrop. Once again, not a single wire in sight, except the PC, obviously. I, I, I was just talking about the monitors. Underneath these monitors, we got the Drevo Caliber 71 RGB keyboard and Logitech G403 mouse, and that's pretty much it. This setup is kind of looking a bit empty, to be honest, but if that's the theme you're going with, then you did a great job. Cable management also seems to be under control, so no complaints here. 
And then we got the PC that's powering this setup that has a 3700 and a GTX 1070 inside the S340 Elite case. And that pretty much wraps up the simple and clean quad display setup. Thank you, Levi, for entering. At number four, we got Odok with a sick black and red setup. But wait, guys, because it gets better later on. So he's rocking an X34 Acer on the left and an Asus 24 inch on the right that's sitting on a desk with custom carbon fiber wraps. That actually looks pretty cool. He's also using the Razer Black Roto Chroma X keyboard and the Razer Naga mouse on top of the Razer Firefly mouse pad, and that's on top of another mouse pad. For audio, he's rocking the two full soundbar and the Sennheiser Game Zero headset hanging from underneath the desk. Even though he's not using the pullout keyboard drawer, he actually decided to wrap it anyways just to stay consistent with the whole carbon fiber theme. Cable management is great, nothing I would recommend really, I mean it's pretty obvious, you know what you're doing here. There are no wires on the ground, things are neatly tucked away, pretty good job overall. Even the cable management on the PC is great, we got another water cooled PC but this time the GPU is cooled as well. It's rocking a 4790K and an EVGA GTX 980. He even has a remote to turn on his PC from a distance because it's out of reach. <laughs> I don't know if that's just being lazy or super convenient. He does have another desk and over here we got the original PlayStation and PS2 but I got a feeling he uses the HTC Vive a lot more. It doesn't even stop there, he also has a custom built arcade machine in a Tron theme and ladies and gentlemen, a coffee table that has a custom water cooled PC built inside along with a 19 inch monitor. We don't know the specs unfortunately, the only thing we do know is that it's an AMD system. If you look closely, you can actually tell that the floor along with some of the parts are covered in the same carbon fiber as his desk. Beautiful setup, thank you Aldoc for entering. Last but not least, we got Danielle with a pretty simple black and red setup featuring three 24 inch ASUS monitors. He's also got the Corsair K65 RGB keyboard and ASUS Spatha wireless mouse. It doesn't look like he uses any headphones, so the only audio source are those giant Sirwin Vega speakers, which are resting on its sides. There are a few wall shelves that are holding up a variety of alcohol and some Funko figurines. We got Jon Snow, Venom, and of course, Wally. I like how he zip tied the power brick against the monitor mount to keep it from touching the table and the cable management under the desk is not bad. Pretty straightforward stuff, signum rack, zip ties, you know the deal. The PC power in the setup has a 6700K and two GTX 780s in SLI. Also kudos for keeping with the color scheme. A lot of people do a good job but when it comes to the chair, they just completely forget about it or don't think it's as important. So it's nice to see that the chair fits in with the rest of this setup as well. Thank you Daniel for entering. So that is it for this episode of Setup Wars. As always, drop your comments down below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup. But if you guys vote on the NICE app, then four of you will have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card. And I'll leave a link to the app down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, you guys don't want to miss episode 100. I'm giving away a $1,500 setup. And you guys can build whatever you want. From the PC to desk, monitor, keyboard, the whole shebang. And the trash can guys here just in time. Anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Later, guys.